Welcome to an overview of change management with Autodesk PLM 360. My name is Brian Shannon and in this video we'll examine various change methodologies and how PLM 360 can help you take control of change management within your organization. Within Autodesk PLM 360 there are several out-of-the-cloud change management apps. and The first one we're going to take a look at is the Problem Report Workspace. The Problem Report Workspace is part of the change management grouping inside of PLM 360. The Problem Report Workspace is designed to be an initial catch-all funnel of issues, problems, or suggestions within your organization. There are implied next steps built into the workflow. Of course, you can rename this workspace at a later time, and that's covered under Administration Topics on how to configure and customize Autodesk PLM 360. So let's take a closer look at how the Problems Report Workspace is wired up and how it uh, correlates with the change request and change order and other change management uh, applications within PLM 360. In my example here I have a problem report record that's already been created and it's already in process. If I go into edit we can see that every problem report has the opportunity for a title. There's a couple of predefined uh, problem report types that you can enter in here. Later on down the road you can enter more details and descriptions, sequences leading up to the issue for people to diagnose and triage. Further down on the bottom you have the ability to add your team members in for initial review, technical review, and then finally a, a resolution area. Now part of the power of the problem report workspace is that it, it's the initial step into resolving an issue. And down on the bottom you have an on completion section there's a drop down here so on completion what would you like the problem report to do it can generate an engineering change request a corrective and preventative action or nothing and in my example here I chose to have it generate when the workflow state gets there I have it actually generate an engineering change request so let's take a look first of all at the workflow and how this uh, record got to where it is part of the problem reporting may often involve calling out specific items that are within PLM 360 in this case Here's an item that we can see, and the, uh, the issue with the overheating electrical bug was found on this particular component. This will be important later on when we run a report, perhaps, on this item to see how many problem reports, how many corrective actions, how many change requests, and ultimately change orders were created against this one particular line item. The Approval Workflow tab shows an interactive uh, graphical map of the state the current state and the workflow and a history of the workflow and approvals that this particular problem report record has gone through. Now you'll note that the current workflow state says ECR in progress. Recall back on the item details tab under the completion area I chose to generate an engineering change request and here is actually that engineering change request that was automatically spawned and created when I hit that state. So it should be noted that the record, though it appears to be in this state, and it doesn't appear that we can advance it anymore, it's not stuck. It's actually waiting right now for that change request to close out and come to fruition, and then it'll come back to this problem report and close it out. So let's go and take a look at that particular change request. So inside of our example, to get to that change request, let's go back to the Item Details tab and come down to the bottom and click directly on the related engineering change request. 